Hi, it's Nicole, and today I have a Mama Elephant video to share with you for the March Stampede. I'm using the Everyday Greetings stamp set. It's brand new for March 2014. The greeting set has tons of fun little greetings that are perfect to use with any of your other Mama Elephant stamp sets. I've kind of laid out a few of my stamps here. I'm using several stamps from the Everyday Greetings, including this Hello Scripty Word Bubble stamp. And then I'm also going to be using the greeting and the little thought bubbles with the hearts in them. The little bird is from the another brand new Mama Elephant stamp set for March, Just Hatched. There's several little critters there on that stamp set, and I'm going to use the bird today. I'm also going to, I'm just laying out my stamps to make sure I like the placement. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting using black ink, kind of near the bottom of my sheet of white cardstock. I want my greeting to really stand out, so I'm just stamping it with a crisp black ink. I'm going to be die cutting the thought bubble using a coordinating die for Just Hatched. Just Hatched also has a thought bubble in that stamp set that's the same size, and the thought bubble works with both that stamp and the ones, or yeah, and the ones in Everyday Greetings. So I love that you get lots of use out of it. I'm just coloring in my little bird with Prismacolor colored pencils. I'm not being terribly neat about it because I'm going to go ahead and blend out all my colors using Gamsel and just a, a stump pencil here. So I'm just blending those out and it blended a little bit too much the same color. I didn't want his face and his stomach to be the same color as the rest of his body. So I'm just darkening up areas on the image and adding a little bit more shading and, and such until I get the color that I want for my bird. You can go over it as many times as you need to to get the desired results. I'm going to take a white opaque pen. First I'm going to take the black gel pen and, and just darken his eyes. I like to add detail to the eyes because I feel that it kind of helps make them pop, especially after they've been colored. And in real life, it gives a nice subtle dimension. Then I'm going to take my white pen and add some little dot detail to the tummy of the bird and across the cheeks. There's a coordinating die for this bird as well, so I will be die cutting that with a coordinating die. This is just a little Wink of Stella glitter pin that I'm using on just a couple little areas of the bird. Just to give him a little subtle sparkle. I think I decided to color in the whole thing. Now the coordinating dies, I like to tape in place with some post-it tape. It just helps them not shift when I'm running them through my Sizzix Big Shot. After you go through all the work of stamping and or coloring your image, you really would hate for the die to shift through your die cut machine and ruin your hard work. So I'm just taping those and then I'll just run them through my Big Shot. So I've already die cut them out and you can see I've, I've laid everything out here on my card. I'm going to stamp one of these little thought bubbles from Everyday Greetings using the Blush Mama Elephant ink. And then I'm going to stamp the other one with Bubble Gum, which is just a little bit darker. I really am liking the combination of pink and mint for this spring. All of those little hearts that you see scattered there are, were created, die, die cut from the Mama Elephant Confetti die, and it's just a great die that has a whole bunch of 
sequin shapes, stars, and hearts. You can kind of see them scattered across my desk here. I die cut a whole bunch of them and then I kind of just picked through them to pick the ones I wanted and I decided to go with the hearts because that really kind of complemented the theme of my card and coordinated with those heart speech bubbles. I adhered the bird with a little foam adhesive and I am going to take a little glossy accents to give some dimension to his little beak. I'm going to color in those thought bubbles again with the Wink of Stella clear glitter marker just to give them a little bit of sparkle, kind of help them stand out a little bit. And I've glued a whole bunch of the hearts in place, those confetti hearts you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and color in just those mint hearts. Gives them a little bit of sparkle. I didn't want to do all of them, but I thought it would be fun to just kind of highlight a few of them on the background of my card. I've also tied a little bit of white silk ribbon around that white cardstock piece. So I had my card here and I, I liked it, but it wasn't completely doing it for me. And I decided I thought it would be really fun to create a white, or pardon me, a clear card. So I am taking another new stamp set for March. This is the On Point Borders. And I'm going to stamp one of those borders all the way across my card using white stays on ink. It gives it just some nice texture to that clear card. The clear card is from Hero Arts. Then I'm just going to adhere my white piece using some foam adhesive right to the front of that card. Then I'm going to take my mint card stock that I've cut to the same size and place that on the inside of the card to hide the adhesive from the front. Then I'll place another piece of cardstock on the inside of the card right behind that. Well, I'll do the backing piece for my card. And that way it hides all of the adhesive. So that, that other mint piece will actually go on the back and there'll be a white piece on the inside where you can write your greeting. I hope you've enjoyed this video featuring the Mama Elephant Everyday Greetings, Just Hatched, and On Point Border stamp sets for March 2014. The supplies are listed below the video on YouTube in the comment section. For more information, you can visit my blog at nicolemcgwork.typepad.com. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.